Hi, I'm Annika. Thanks for tuning in to my channel and welcome to yoga today. Today we're going to do a flow, get your energy moving and get your body woken up. All right, let's get started. <laughs> okay, let's park these buttocks on the mat. Let's do child's pose. Start of the week. And whatever happened during the weekend doesn't bloody matter. Guess what? Guess what happened last week? Doesn't bloody matter. None of it matters except right now, you, your mat, your body. And we're just going to learn how to breathe. Oh, good morning, everybody. You're a little bit hot. Go cool down. Yeah, sniff is, he hasn't got any testicles to sniff. Dogs just get right down to the point, don't they? You've got a lot to learn from dogs. All right, you two. Your mother has to do some work. Let's go. Oh. So take the knees hip width apart. <laughs> Draw your body down to your mat. Your forehead down to your mat. And extend your legs long in child's pose. Okay, let mommy do child's pose. <laughs> Thank you, Bodhi. Good, just extend the hands long. Just feel uh, your shoulders release. Like a good morning stretch with the fingers and then take a deep inhale. Let it all go. Let your belly just relax. Here we are, still alive, back again together. How fantastic is that? Just focus on your breath. Just take a big giant inhale through the nose. Giant exhale through the nose. Just letting your body completely sink into your mat. Maybe just walking the hands over to the left, just as far over as they'll go. Right hand on top of left, but press back with that right sit bone that's kind of coming off your feet. Just press it back down and ground back down. Good, come through center, other side. Come back through center. And draw the entire body onto your mat. I want you to bring your belly down. Take the hands out like airplane wings and just turn your head over to the left. And I want you to just, now if this feels too much on the front of your chest and shoulders, bring your hands to 90 degrees. Just let your feet go, let your heels fall apart. Let your bum relax. And start to draw your breath in deep so you feel your belly pushing against the mat. 
And as you exhale, let it just all sink back in. Really connect with the ground beneath you. Really grounding your entire body, all contact on the, on the floor. Try to feel the earth even underneath the floor, all the way down through the foundations of your space. Feel your fingertips. Feel your palms, your elbows, your chest, your hips, your thighs, your knees, the tops of your toes, and your belly as you breathe in. Good, just turn your head the other way and just relax. Maybe thinking about why you showed up on your mat this morning. What are you looking for? Why are you here? Good, slowly draw the hands underneath the shoulders. Point your elbows back. Point your toes and press them into the mat and slowly take an inhale, come halfway up. Pressing through the hands. Elbows point back to protect your shoulders. Exhale, slowly lower down. Spreading your fingers, inhale. Push through the hands, push into the feet. Activate your legs. Exhale, lower down, release everything. And again, one more time. Inhale through the nose, press up. Exhale, lower down. This time we'll come all the way up. Maybe take your hands a little wider apart and inhale. Good. Ooh, had a nice click there. Release and relax the shoulders down away from your ears. Maybe take the nose up. Spread the fingers, feeling some compression there in the lower back. Maybe take the right ear down to the shoulder, chin to chest, other side, just slowly just making some small movements with the head, with the neck. Elbows a little bit soft, maybe turn the head to the left, back to center to the right. And then just roll over onto one leg, coming onto the sides of your feet. Look over, keep those elbows soft. You're pushing it. A little bit of strength work already, kind of firing up the arms. I'm already tired. Come back to center, push back to the knees, walk the hands underneath and just take child's pose. Take three breaths here. Nice deep inhales, nice deep exhales. You've got one left. On your next inhale, come up onto all fours. Just walk the hands directly under the shoulders, tuck the toes. Maybe wag the tail. So just take your hips over to one side, look over the shoulder, other side. You're just getting into your body, kind of like, <laughs> what happened to my body? Oh, right? It's your machine. You've got to keep it oiled and moving and serviced. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Come back to center. Drop the belly. Lift the nose. Curl the toes under. Exhale. Release the toes. Push the hands. Suck the belly in. Good. And again, curl the toes. Drop the belly. Lift the nose. Keeping your fingers spread on your mat just to protect your wrists. I want you, above all else, tune in to your breath. Right? Where the breath leads, the mind follows. 
So your mind's not thinking about your bloody groceries, your kids, your work, what you got to do today. Therein lies the magic. We give the mind something to do, to occupy it. Good, coming back to center. Just walk the knees in a little, curl the toes under. Maybe extend your left leg long. Press it back into the mat for your Achilles. Let's just hold this Achilles stretch. This is for Leslie. You can maybe drop down to the elbows. Just take a little, but keep pushing through your forearms so you're not, anytime we kind of dump into the shoulders, you know, you're just dumping into your bones. So always try to stay active. Take an inhale, lift that leg parallel to the ground. Maybe coming back onto your hands, activate the core. Good, rotate, take that leg diagonally behind. Place the toe down, press back. Now turn towards that foot and you'll feel a release down this outside hip in your IT band. Breathe. Good, lift the leg, bring it back, hold your balance, press up through the hands, and maybe invite the right hand out to play. Now, reach with the fingertips, press back with the heel. Opposition in each pose. So I'm lifting, but I'm pushing into the floor. I'm reaching, I'm pressing back. Inhale, elbow, knee connect, hold. Body has to play with the balance. Exhale, extend, gaze forward, press back. And again, inhale, suck it in, suck it up, exhale, extend. One more. Extend, moving with your breath. Reach that hand around, draw the heel in, see if you can connect foot and hand, kicking back, gazing over the shoulder. Good, slowly release, hand forward, foot back, balance. Slowly replace, readjust, hands and feet. Come back to your breath, focus just down in between the fingers. Other side, pressing back through that Achilles. Planting the toes into the mat, push back through the heels. Spread your fingers on your mat so your wrists don't get tired. Good, if you want to come down to the forearms, shake your head a little. I want you to tune into your bodies, right? Sometimes you have to close your eyes to bring your attention inside a little easier. That's okay. But just a nice soft gaze. Good, lift that foot, take it diagonally behind, plant the toe, press back through the heel and draw shoulder towards the foot. Just look over and you'll feel that down that right side. Take another inhale and as you exhale, bring that foot all the way around to the back. Balance it out. Lift up. Good. Maybe invite the left hand out to play. Gaze forward. Stretch back. Feel reaching and reaching opposite directions. Good, inhale, elbow to knee connect, draw in, balance, exhale, extend and balance. And again, inhale, exhale. And again, one more time, exhale, reach round behind, curl the heel in, see if you can catch your foot, kick it in, lift up, gaze over. Lift that knee a little higher. The harder you kick into your hand, the more lift you get. Breathe. Slowly release all fours. Take a few cat and cows, whatever feels good, or just wag the tail. Good, slowly. 
Come up, take a deep inhale, reach the hands up, clasp your fingers and press your palms towards the sky. Slowly release the hands into the small of the back. Fingers point down, knockers falling out the side of the shirt. <laughs> Draw the elbows together, take a little back bend, another back bend. Gaze up if your neck is okay, if not, just stay neutral, gaze forward. Good, slowly release. Come back down onto all fours. Curl the toes, hips high, find down dog. First down dog of the day, so paddle out the heels, bend the knees deep. Slowly make your way to the top of the mat. Good, grab opposite elbows. Feet are hip width apart and just dangle like a good set of coconuts. Shake your head a little left to right, side to side, just release and decompress the lower spine. Just to counteract those back bends. Good, bring the hands down in front of the toes, take an inhale, left hand reaches high. Soften your right knee, press back into that left heel. So one leg, a little bit of a bend in it. Bring the hand down, inhale, slight bend opposite leg. Gaze up at your hand. Bring the hands down, hands on the shins, halfway lift. Gaze forward, press back into the shins. Think about your tailbone going back, your crown of your head going forward. Exhale, fold in and look in. Inhale, come all the way up, slowly, slowly, pressing through the feet, nice, strong, raise. Hands high above the head, palms touch, thumbs come into heart. Draw the chin in, draw the belly button in. Can you stand still for a few breaths? Lock it in. Withdraw your attention, Pratyahara. We come into Dhyana, a soft gaze, uh, looking within. And we enter a meditative state, Dharana. All these different paths to the state of yoga, the state of bliss. Good, take an inhale, sweep the hands up, grab hold of your right wrist, take it over for a little side bend. Good, really pressing down through the feet, take the gaze up to the elbow. Good, inhale, nice and tall, gaze up. Other side, reaching up and over, gaze up. Good, reach up, look up. Take a little back bend of your choice, maybe shoulder blades coming together, spread the fingers. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, exhale, fold in, chest to thighs. Halfway lift, palms down, feet back, flow through to down dog. If you're new, drop down to the knees, draw the shoulders over, and it's lowering down to the bottom of a push-up. Release the toes, Lift the chest, draw the shoulders down and back, gaze up. Hip side down dog, five breaths. Pressing the heels down towards the mat and breathing. Come high on the toes, bend the knees, Step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, we fold in. Inhale, we rise again. Palms touch, thumbs come down to the heart. Cycle one, complete, begin again. Sweep up, inhale, follow your breath. Grab your wrist, take it over. We start to move a little bit more, one breath. One move. So make your breaths nice and deep, nice and long. Inhale all the way up, open out, back bend. 
But try not to hurry. Your breath may be a totally different speed to mine. So take your time. You're not missing anything. Your body will guide you where you need to go. Palms down, feet back, high, lowers down to low. Release, lift up, hips high down dog. Gaze at your belly. Five breaths. High on the toes, bend the knees, walk, step, float, top of the mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, come on up. Palms touch, thumbs to heart, cycle two. Begin again, inhale, sweep out and up. Grab a wrist, take it over. Inhale. Other side. Inhale, open out. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Look at knees, halfway lift. High to low, begin to flow through. Your vinyasa to your downward dog. Five breaths, lock it in. Top of the mat, halfway lift, fold and slowly rise. One last round, take it away by yourself, see if you can remember. Let your breath guide you. High on the toes, walk, step, float, top of the mat, halfway lift, fold, come on up. Thumbs to heart, reset. Good, step the feet, hip width apart, take the hands down by the sides, lock in that belly. Take a breath, <sighs> breathe it out through your mouth. Still alive, eh? And again. <sighs> One more time, just to make sure. <sighs> take a deep inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, fold in, take your peace fingers and grab your big toes. Take an inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold in and try to lift the hips. Release the head, shake it side to side. Lift the tailbone up and pull up on the toes. Slowly release the toes, but walk onto the palms of your hands. Bring your toes right in to the crease of the wrist, get them right in there. So you're standing on your hands. 
Now, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward as you lift the hips, draw the head in, bring the weight towards the toes. You're releasing the back of your wrists after all those push-ups, those vinyasas. Draw the belly button in. So you're just kind of hammering one side and then you work the other side. Balance. Good. Release the hands to the hips. Come on up. Nice and slow. You might be dizzy. Exhale, ground down. Keeping the feet hip width apart. Bend the knees. Drop your bum. Lift the hands. Chair pose. Second sun sal. Second warm up. Lift all ten toes. Good. Take the right hand behind. Gaze over the shoulder. Inhale. Come back to center. Stay low. Over the other side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold in. Halfway lift. Palms down, feet back, flow through to down dog. However you want to get to down dog. If you're tired today, honor your body. Don't push and kill yourself. There's no bloody point. Life's too short. Good. Zip the toes together. Next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Now push the other heel down. Good. Curl the heel into the bum. You know the routine. Rotate your ankle because it just feels good. Maybe a couple of circles with the knee, which may not feel so good. Like, oh, my hip, my back, my neck. Name the movie. Good. Inhale. Point that toe to the back. Look between the hands. Come on through. Stay high on the back toe. Come on up. Rise up. Lift up. It's a little back bend. Crescent lunge. Good. Lift up through the side body. And then take the left hand down. Dragonfly twist. Revolve the spine open. Gaze up at the hand. Bring the hand down. Step the back foot in about two feet. Both toes pointing to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, come on the fingertips. Find length in the spine and exhale, draw the body forward. Nice hamstring stretch called pyramid pose. Step the back foot in, bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose. Open out to the left. Inhale, back to center, look up. Exhale, open out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold in. Halfway lift takes us down through our vinyasa. This little nice flow to down dog. From down dog, zip the toes together. Next inhale, left leg goes high. Press back through the right heel. So you're really opening out the side. Curl the heel into the bum. Rotate the ankle. Maybe the knee a couple of times. Ooh, get it up and round there. Point the toe to the back. Gaze between the hands. Know where you are going in life and in your practice. I'm only joking. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Inhale. Come on up. All plans have their own mind. Dip into the front knee. Right hand down. Left hand opens up. Dragonfly twist. Lower the hand, step the back foot in. Both toes pointing the same direction. Come on your fingers, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold in. Pyramid pose, great stretch for the hamstring. Step the back foot in. Feet hip width apart, bend the knees, sink the hips, raise the hands, rise up. Chair pose, hands up and then down to heart, reset. Take a breath, draw the belly in. Let's do another round. Bend the knees, sink the hips, weight in the heels for me. Good, open out to the side. 
Inhale back to center. Open out to the other side. Inhale to center. You can come up and give a back bend this time. Exhale, fold in. Halfway lift. Palms down, feet back, flowing through to your downward facing dog. Draw the shoulders over the wrists. Lower down. Inhale, sweep through, shoulders down and back. Hips high, down dog. Zip the toes together, next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Curl the heel into the bum, maybe flipping all the way over. This time, you're flipping your doggies in your practice. Open out. Open the heart, exhale, flip it back, point the toe, gaze between the hands, bring the foot through. Find your balance in the center of your body and inhale, rise. Nice strong back leg. Left hand down, right hand stays high. Rotate open, dragonfly. Hand comes down, back foot steps in. Take an inhale, exhale, fold in. Step the feet together, hip width apart, bend the knees, sink the hips. Chair pose, stand tall, hands to heart. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Take the gaze up, rotate out. Gaze back, draw that left hip forward. It likes to roll back. Inhale, come up, a little back bend. You can fold it all the way down the middle with the hands. Up to you, halfway lift. Just flowing with your breath. Setting your plank, elbows in, lower down. Can always do these on all the knees. Hips high. Good, zip the toes together, left leg. Curl the heel in. Flip the dog, lift up, flip it back, point the toe, bring it through, rise on up. Right hand comes down, left hand lifts up and opens up. You can always drop to your knee. Bring the hand back down, step the back foot in. Take an inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold in. Step in, feet hip width apart, bend the knees, sink the hips back to chair. Come on up, palms come in. Good, one last round. I'd like you to just flow by yourself. See if you can remember the shapes. And if you can't, make them up, skip them out, do what you remember. Just follow your breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, palms down, feet back, exhale all the way down, lower down. Exhale, starting with the right leg. Exhale, bring it through. Bend the knees, sink the hips, back to chair. Stand tall, begin again. So this gets you out of your mind, into your body a little more. Or it may show you how in your mind you are. 
So we're just flowing with the body, with the breath, vinyasa. Left leg, the other side. Good, returning back to standing, hands to heart, chin into the chest, belly button draws in. Come back to your breath, come back to stillness. Notice your body, notice your fingers, how they feel, your toes. Slow down your exhale, it brings the heart rate down. And we'll begin our third little flow. So just step back with the left foot, plant the back heel, take an inhale with the palms together, reach up to warrior one. So draw the body up, dip forward, take the gaze up and breathe. Good, draw the palms into the heart. Transfer the weight into the front foot. Slowly power that back leg off and draw the body forward towards the floor. Warrior three. If you have the wobbles, take your hands out to the side for balance. Dropping that back toe onto the ground. Take a little twist out to the right. Left elbow, right knee. Gaze up. You can always drop to the back knee if your balance needs a little help. Good, drop the back heel, rise up, warrior two. Extend the hands, dip into that front leg. Relax the shoulders. And breathe. Nice, strong stance. Flip the palm, reach and reverse. Dip into the front leg, lower the hip. Gaze at the hand. Right elbow comes all the way down to the knee. You can stay here, extending the hand, or maybe allow the hand to come right down to the outside edge. But press down through the outside edge of that back foot. Now powering up, inhale, lift up, five star. Take a back bend. Exhale. Slide the, the hands down the legs, crown of head comes to the ground. Just shake your head a little side to side. Take three breaths here. Bring the hands to the hips and on an inhale, slowly rise, pressing through those feet. Coming up slow and exhale, just grounding down. Taking your left toes, point them to the back. Right toes, bring them round so the hip comes round. Extend the hands out long. Take a deep inhale and reach over the front leg. Let that front hand fall to the shin, to the inside. Other hand high, triangle pose, gaze up. You can rotate your front thigh out. And feel strong, feel your feet really into the ground. Gaze down at the big toe. Use that right hand to bring you up. Taking the left one overhead. Grab the wrist and draw the body up and back. Sky archer like you're pulling on a bow and arrow. Just gaze up to the elbow. Slowly release. Take those left fingers. Place them in front of the left toes. You're bending down. Put your hand on the floor. Slide the back leg in and lift it up. See if you can balance. Raise the other hand to high. It's called half moon. If you press down through the foot, maybe 
you can float the fingers if you have half moon in your practice a lot. Good, balance. Bring both hands down, square off the hips. One foot back, other foot back. Flow through to your vinyasa. Releasing the toes, pressing up, look up. Hips high, down dog. Take three breaths here. Nice deep breaths. It's a reset point on your mat. Push the mat away and extend through the upper back. Drawing the heels down as much as you can. They may never touch the mat. Bring the toes together. Next inhale. Left leg high to the sky. Bring it through in between the hands. Drop the back heel. Come on up. Lift up, bring the palms together, dip in, sinking the hips down to the floor. Warrior one. Try to press down through the outside edge of that back foot. Draw the hands into the heart. Take the gaze in front. Slowly transfer the weight into that front leg. Nice and slow. You can slide in, draw forward. You can always Take the hands out, or go and grab the wall or the bed. Right, we're trying to strengthen all these stabilizing muscles, keeping your balance in your left leg, in your ankles particularly. Good, drop down the back leg. Find your balance. Take a twist out to the left. Gaze up. Beautiful, take an inhale, drop the back heel, rise up, windmill up. Warrior two, dip in. Gaze to that front middle finger. Check your knee is drawing out to the outside, not rolling in. Take an inhale, reach the palm and reverse. Dip in. Just gaze up at your elbow. Bring that elbow down to the knee. Reach overhead. And if that feels good, maybe the hand comes down. Staying open, rotated open. Gazing at your fingertips. And on an inhale, you're gonna come up, open out. This time maybe clasping the hands if you like. Take a back bend, draw the body in. Take three breaths here. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, hands to the hips, ground down. Turn the toes, top of the mat, back toes. Draw them round, extend the hands long. Reach, 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 it's triangle. Bottom hand comes down, top hand reaches up. Rotate open that front leg. Breathe. Gazing up at the hand. And if your neck is sore, just look down. Good, everybody gaze to the big toe. Inhale, come on up. Use that hand to lift up, grab the wrist and draw back. Sky Archer. Good, and release. All the way, fingers to the floor in front of the Right toes, drag the back foot in, open out, half moon. Try to open out the hip. Square off the hips, bring the hand down, take your vinyasa. I can meet you in down dog, you can always skip your vinyasas. You can paddle your heels if that feels good. Just do what you can in your down dog to take a break. Zip the toes together. This time we'll move with the breath. One breath, one move. So right leg high to the sky. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, bring it through. Drop the back heel, seal it. Come on up, palms touch. 
Feel it. Draw the hands in. Draw the body forward. Float, fly. Drop down to the back foot. You can drop down to the knee if you like. Twist it out to the right. Gaze up. Drop the back heel. Fire up into your warrior two. Dip in. Release the palm and reverse your warrior. Elbow to knee or hand down into full side extension. Inhale, come up, five star. Open out. Exhale, slide the hands down, fold in. Crown of head to the ground. Take three breaths. Bring the hands to the hips and come on up. Ground down, rotate toes, extend the hands. Reach, reach, reach. Triangle. Feel it. Look down, come on up. Sky Archer. Good, bend into that left knee. Half moon. Square off the hips. Take your vinyasa to the back of your mat. When you're ready, zip the toes together. <coughs> Left leg high to the sky. Bring it through. Seal the heel. Rise on up, warrior one. Draw the hands in, float fly. Drop the back toe. You can drop down to the knee if you like and twist it out to the left. Maybe you then try to float your knee. Come all the way round to two. Warrior two. Flip the palm and reverse. Now extend. Inhale, open up, five star. Take a back bend and bring the palms together, clasp them. Back bend, exhale, fold in. Bring those hands off the back if you can. Gives the shoulders a nice release. Inhale, bring the hands back in and slowly rise. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips, rotate the toes. Back to the front, this one. 45 degrees, release the hands, triangle, reach, 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 and fall down, good. Open up, gaze up. Gaze down at the toe and then inhale, come on up, grab that wrist and draw it back, sky archer. Dip into the front leg, fingers in front of the toes, float fly last time, this side. Bring the hand down, square off the hips. One foot goes back, other foot goes back. Take your vinyasa. Five breaths to reset. Can always drop to your knees anytime and take child's pose. Skip the last round, the last set it's all about you your body and how you feel zip the toes together so right leg high to the sky inhale press it up exhale bring it through drop the back heel seal it come on up palms touch draw the hands down and go for it anything you can remember just flow 
And if you're ready to take child's pose, find child's pose. Warrior two. Anything you can remember, just make shapes. Try to flow with your body. Slowly rise, triangle to the back. From down dog, left leg now. Anything you can remember. Try to lock into your body and don't worry about the phone. Finding your way through your last vinyasa. Come down onto your knees. Release the toes, walk the hands back. And just place your right hand on top of your left hand. Thumbs touch. Close your eyes. Just breathe and check in with your body. What are you feeling?
slowly make your way onto your bum. Just extend the legs long in front of you. Take a deep inhale. Reach the hands up. You can keep your eyes closed and just reach forward. Relax the hands onto the legs. Take an inhale, lift up through the chest. Exhale, fold in. You should be nice and loose. Relax the head. If you need to take another inhale, get a little bit more air, a little bit more space. Then just try to relax your hands. Let go, surrender. Slowly rise, keeping your eyes closed if you like, making your way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and just bring the feet back to the mat. Open out the arms like aeroplane wings. Take an inhale, draw the knees over to the left. Just take your gaze to the right little spinal twist. You can lift that top knee if you like. Good, inhale through center, other side. Bring the gaze over the opposite shoulder. through center. Just bring the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to fall apart. Maybe left hand on the heart, right hand on your belly.
And when you're ready, just slide the legs down. Final resting shape. Take a soft inhale, soft exhale. Maybe just wiggling the fingers a little, bringing a little bit of life into your toes. Maybe taking a Good morning, stretch. Hugging the knees in towards the chest. <laughs> and slowly find your way onto your side. Pressing up slowly to cross-legged seated position on your mat. Bringing the hands into your heart. <laughs> Taking a deep inhale and exhale it out. Deep inhale. And a deep exhale. One more time. Just taking a moment and picturing somebody or something that needs a little bit of extra love today. I want you to picture their face. I want you to picture them smiling and full of health, vitality, and happiness. And that's how easy it is to use your energy for good, sending through your thoughts. It's that easy. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Have the most beautiful day.
Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me again at the start of a new day. See you tomorrow.